I am quite smart, am I not, Mr. Worthing? <laughs> You're quite perfect, Miss Fairfax. Oh, I hope I'm not that. That would leave no room for development. And I do intend on developing in many directions. It's quite a charming day, Miss Fairfax. Pray, don't speak to me about the weather, Mr. Worthing. Whenever people speak to me about the weather, I feel quite certain they mean something else. And that makes me so nervous. But I do mean something else. I thought so. And if I may be allowed to take advantage of Lady Bracknell's temporary absence... I most certainly should advise you to do that. You know, Mum has a way of suddenly walking back into a room. I've often had to speak to her about it. Miss Fairfax... Ever since I've met you, I've admired you more than any other girl I've met ever since. <laughs> I'm well aware of that fact, Mr. Worthing. In fact, at any rate, in public, I have hoped that you'd be more demonstrative. You see, I have this irresistible fascination with you. Even before I met you, I was far from indifferent towards you. We live in a world of ideals, as I hope you already know. Mm -hmm. And it's been my ideal, always, to love a man of the name Ernest. That name just inspires absolute confidence. Ever since Algonon mentioned that he had a friend named Ernest, I knew I was destined to love you. You really love me, Gwendolyn. Passionately. You don't know how happy you've made me today. My own Ernest. Uh, but you, you don't mean you wouldn't love me if my name was not Ernest. But your name is Ernest. Yeah, I know it is, but if it wasn't, wouldn't you love me then? That's just a metaphysical speculation. And like all metaphysical speculations, it has nothing to do with real life. If I may speak candidly, Miss Fairfax, I, I, I don't think much of Ernest. In fact, I feel that name doesn't even suit me. It suits you perfectly. It's a divine name. It has music. It produces vibrations. But they are the charming names. Like Jack, for that matter. Jack? Jack, it's a great name. Jack, Jack, Jack has no music. It has no vibrations. I've known several Jacks and they're usually just more than just plain. Mm -hmm. Oh, the truest name is Ernest. And it's your name. It's Fairfax, I think I must get Christian at once. I mean, we should get married at once. Married, Mr. Worthing? Yeah. As, as in, you know, you know I love you, and you've led me to believe that you are not absolutely indifferent towards me. I adore you, but you haven't proposed to me yet. We haven't spoken about marriage. That topic has not even been touched upon. Can I propose to you now? I think that's an admirable opportunity. And to save you from disappointment, I am determined to let you know that I will most certainly accept. <laughs> Gwendolyn. Yes, Mr. Worthing. What have you got to say to me? You know what I've got to say to you. Yes, but you don't say it. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I will marry you.